guys, I just wanted to come on here really quickly before the video starts and just let you know that this video was filmed before the current climate. That being said, I hope everyone is staying safe and happy and well. I wanted to keep things kind of light and positive on my channel, so I figured I would show you some of my most favorite David's Bridal dresses that you literally can wear to any occasion, whether that be a wedding or any kind of special event. So let's get on to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. I would love for you to stick around. Today's video is going to be a wedding guest get ready with me. Now, I personally went to a wedding a couple of months ago and I had absolutely no clue what to wear. And I think that it's kind of a struggle sometimes for us plus size women or women in general to kind of figure out what to wear to a wedding. Like it's kind of just like this weird thing. Like you don't know how dressy to be or where to get your dress from. It's just kind of like this weird time. <laughs> At least it was for me. Um, so today's video is sponsored by David's Bridal. A big thank you to them. They did provide me with the dresses that I'm going to show you as well as the shoes and accessories to totally complete a wedding guest outfit. Um, now I will be showing you each dress after I do my hair and makeup just to show you guys like different options and kind of different vibes that you can take to go to a wedding as a wedding guest. So I'm gonna jump right in and start with my hair and makeup. This is gonna be a full get ready with me. I'm gonna do my hair, makeup, show you my outfit, show you my accessories, and give you a true idea of what to wear when you're going to a wedding. So I'm gonna get started. So clearly I have no makeup on and my hair is just like regular. Um, I washed it last night and curled it last night and then just slept on it so it kind of ruined it. <laughs> when I am going to like an event or something like that, like a wedding, I don't like to have freshly washed hair because typically, I will like to put my hair half up or do some sort of like styling with my hair and honestly dirty hair holds better um, at least in my case and one day like my hair is already a little bit greasy and I washed it less than 24 hours ago so one day is more than enough for me but I am going to be using some dry shampoo just because it, it kind of just gives it that like extra texture so the dry shampoo I use is by Batiste it's just dry shampoo you can use any dry shampoo you want um, that being said, my hair, obviously I have extensions in my hair, I have tape-ins right now, and they're about ready to come out. It's been like six to seven weeks, and so if you see any of them looking loose, that is why. They need to come out. So I just spray this all around the root area, like the crown basically. I'll do the back too. And then just kind of massage it in, like you do when you're shampooing. That just gives your hair a little extra texture, especially if you have like fine hair. Um, dry shampoo is great because it just gives it a little like grit, like something to hold on to, you know. Um, and because I do have extensions, I am going to use a dry conditioner on the bottoms because they feel a little dry. This one is from Pantene. It's the Misbehaving Dry Conditioner Mist. It looks like this. And I'm just going to spray that on the ends. And then kind of like work it through. So I am going to add some loose curls in my hair using a one inch curling wand. This one is from Irresistible Me. It's their eight in one curling wand, which means I can literally like change the barrels of this curling wand. This one again is about a one inch wand. So I am just going to throw some loose waves in. When I'm going to a wedding, I kind of just like go for the romantic look. Um, obviously it's like a really romantic day and I don't really like to do anything too harsh. Like. I don't know for me I think waves and curls are just a little bit more like flirty and romantic and just I don't know I just I just like to do curls so I'm gonna throw some curls in my hair I think I'm gonna wear my hair half up um I think maybe I'll throw a braid or two in there we'll see but let me throw some loose curls in and I will be right back okay so I have some loose curls in my hair um, I am going to spray it with some hairspray because typically weddings are literally from like morning to night <laughs> or like early morning the next day, at least all the weddings that I've been to. So I am going to give my curls a little spray. I mean, I do like the loose look, but I don't want them to totally go flat. All right, at this point, I am going to prep my skin. Um, I'm just going to moisturize my skin while I figure out exactly what I want to do with my hair. I'm kind of I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards like half up, half down. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but first I'm going to spray my face with Complex Beauty Afterglow Complexion Mist. This is a really great mist for your skin. It has a lot of um, 
It has like AHA, AHA in it, and just like really great things for your skin. So I'm gonna spray this before I put moisturizer on. I'm gonna add my eye cream, which is by Dr. Brandt. It's a 24 seven retinol eye cream. Really great eye cream, really moisturizing. And it has like this light reflecting technology in it. Um, basically it's like, it's not shimmer, but it's just like a little bit of, I don't know, maybe it is a little shimmer. <laughs> Nothing crazy though, it's not like glitter. It's just like the slightest bit of shimmer, which helps the light to kind of deflect off of that area and give you the give you the appearance of less dark circles which I need <laughs> I'm gonna moisturize my skin with my CeraVe night cream obviously this is the night cream but my skin is very dry especially com from coming back from um, Jamaica I feel like my skin really was dry from like the airplane and just getting Sun and the ocean water and just everything really so I've been definitely using night cream during the day. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do is just give my lips a little bit of chapstick, Nivea chapstick, just to uh, give them a little bit of moisture before we hit the lipstick. I have this giant pimple right here. <sighs> I'm not fucking guys off, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> right here, which is so painful. All right, so. Obviously we're gonna do primer and stuff like that, but I just wanted to get the skincare aspect on my skin so it gave, you know, my face a chance to soak in the product while I figured out what I was gonna do with my hair. Um, I'm thinking some sort of like half updo. I just think that's like really pretty and romantic. Something like that maybe. And then I was thinking maybe I would braid this. I'm really bad with hair guys, like seriously. <laughs> Let's see, should I try to braid this? Or twist it maybe? Like that, and then... All right, let's do that. So I just twisted this piece right here around a couple times and I'm going to secure it with a bobby pin just like play with the little tendrils that you want down okay now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side these baby hairs got to go honey okay something like that I don't know I think it just looks like pretty the hairs out of your face you don't really have to worry about it I'm gonna spray my little teasing comb with some hairspray and then brush this back it's just like the flyaways and try to make them as flat as possible and then I'm gonna fill in my hairline a little bit here this side of my hair is a little bit thinner I don't know it's just kind of like the weird side of my hair so I'm gonna take an eyeshadow the Tartlet in bloom palette this is just the shade smoke show and I'm gonna mix it with activist just like a really dark brown color and just fill in the hairline a little bit there And a little bit over here. See? And that just totally fixes that issue. So that's a little trick if you have thin hair or have like a side of your head that's a little less full or a spot or whatever. Filling it in with a, an eyeshadow that matches your hair color is a really good trick on how to fake fuller hair. All right, so my hair is done. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, I think it's cute. It works. It's cute. All right, so I'm just going to move it out of my face so we can start on the makeup aspect. I am going to prime my skin. Let's start there with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. <clears throat> they did recently come out with a matte version of this, so if you do have oily skin, um, try that and let me know how it is because I'm curious. I mean, I don't have oily skin at all, but I'm curious to know if it actually works as well as this does. Priming is really important, especially when you want your makeup to last. That being said, since it is a wedding and I want my makeup to last all day, I am going to color correct my dark circles. 
this isn't always necessary I mean it's a great added step and like I said because my makeup's gonna be on for a while when you attend a wedding you kind of just want to take extra precaution and make sure that you're not gonna have those dark circles like peeking through or anything by the end of the night so I'm using Mac pro conceal and correct palette this is the light one um, I'm just using this pink shade right here to correct these tea bag stained eyelids and dark circles I'm doing this before foundation as well again just to give your skin that extra added step I also have some darkness like around my mouth and stuff that I will just Go ahead and color correct. This pimple is huge. And around my nose tends to get red. So, okay. I'm going to blend this in with my damp beauty blender. This is the Real Technique sponge. I do want to try the e.l.f. sponge because I've heard great things about it. The red one. I think it's like the total complexion sponge or something like that. And then obviously I'm going to want to wear a long wearing foundation. Hands down, my all-time favorite long-wearing holy grail foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is bomb. It is gorgeous. Stays on all day. Literally, my holy grail. When I used to do freelancing, this is what I would use on my brides. It stays all freaking day, um, even if you do have oily skin. So I will be using Estee Lauder Double Wear. I did just get back from Jamaica, and I have a little bit of a tan. Nothing crazy, but it's definitely darker than my current foundation. So I am going to be mixing... Um, Nestle Lauder Double Wear in the shade 3N Wheat, probably with, um, the shade 1C1 Cool Bone. As you can see, this one is light, this one is dark, so I'm just going to mix them together and get my perfect shade. I'm going to mix it all together on the back of my hand and apply this with a foundation brush and then blend it out with a beauty blender. That looks pretty good. It might be a little bit lighter than my shoulders and stuff, but it'll d darken up once I do my contouring. I plan on cream contouring. I love. I've been addicted to that lately. Um, cream contouring and stuff. Just I feel like it just changes the face a little bit. Like it really gives you that extra step of flawlessness. So next step would be cream contouring. I cream contour with this LA Girl Pro Conceal. Since I have a tan, I'm using the shade Beautiful Bronze. But when I am fair, I use the shade Cool Tan. So you can see the difference in those as it is. But um, I am going to take this shade and just cart out my cheeks. I put it a little bit higher than my cheekbones because when blending... Like, you can see that my cheekbone is actually here. So when blending, I feel like the contour naturally just moves down a little bit. So if you put it a little bit higher than your actual cheekbones, it kind of lands in the right spot. And I will go ahead and contour my nose as well. I've been doing this too, and I'm obsessed. Um, and then I'm going to take, I was going to use my Morphe concealer. I am obsessed with it, but it's a little bit, the color is a little bit off right now. So I am going to use the e.l.f. Light Sand <clears throat> 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This is very bright and yellowy right now, but I was not prepared to get tan. <laughs> like I don't have any of the right shades, so I'm working with what we have here. All right, and then I will use my Juvia's Place concealer, which is even lighter than that, to just highlight a little um, and give that extra bit of brightness. You guys know I love a bright under eye. I just think it's beautiful. So I'm going to blend that out and then just set with a translucent powder um i'm using airspun this one is in the shade naturally neutral very similar to the translucent extra coverage one but it does have a little bit more of a yellow undertone than pink 
So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and then just set with that powder. I usually start with the dark contour first and I will use one side of the Beauty Blender for dark. And I just push it into the skin. Like that. And now I will blend in this highlight here. Now I'm going to set with my Real Techniques powder sponge. Obsessed with this thing. All right, and then I like to take an added step to the nose. I think it really helps in narrowing the nose or try, when you try to contour it. I will take a triangle sponge, dip it in some of this translucent powder, and then bake the sides of my nose. Like that, and I also will do a line down the center with the powder. So of course I look crazy now, but it really will turn out well. Um, I'm gonna add a little extra powder under my eye so that I can uh, do some eyeshadow. Now that we are very contoured and highlighted, I will set those cream contours with a powder. So I'm gonna use NARS Laguna from this palette I have here just to set that contour and kind of bronze up the face a bit. You can also carve out underneath that contour if you want to. All of these steps just help your makeup to last all day. I know it looks crazy. I know it looks like a lot. But when you are going to be attending a wedding, um, again, it's going to be a really long day. And you're going to be taking lots of pictures. And you just want to look snatched all day long. Um, the next step I'm going to do is brows. I'm going to do my regular brow routine using the Brow Gal eyebrow powder and angled brush. I don't really have an issue with my eyebrows coming off um, really ever. So if you want to, you can, of course, use like a pomade or something like that. For your brows, sorry, it's hard to talk when you're doing your brows. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of clear brow gel, and then this is by Maybelline. It's called Brow Fast Sculpt. Does come in a couple different shades. I just like to do clear brow gel. I like to stick up these front hairs. So for the eyes, um, again, as your wedding guest, I don't really like to go too dramatic um i like to kind of keep it soft and romantic even though this is quite dramatic <laughs> but i feel like this as soon as you blend it out it doesn't look as dramatic of, co of course it's not going to look as dramatic as this so i am just going to use a couple of like warm shades on the eyes probably do a wing liner and call it a day um i will be using the iconic london palette i'm obsessed with this palette got it in boxycharm it is beautiful are stunning they are highly pigmented well worth it it's the only palette i took with me on vacation it is just beautiful so i'm gonna start off with the shade peaches and dreams which is this one right here let me zoom you guys in so you can see what i'm doing just like messy i again i'm not somebody who really does a lot of eyeshadow. I just kind of like soft, warm tones on the eyes. Nothing too intense. All right. So next I will take, let's see. I'm going to take Ultimate Tan, which is this color here, right here, and focus that more in the crease. I'm going to get a smaller brush more like domed shape brush to get right in there 
under that shade just more directly in that crease of the eye I think I'm gonna keep it matte on the lid as well again I'm not somebody who loves to do crazy glitter eyeshadow I mean sometimes I do but it's few and far between I'm gonna take a little bit of taupe de taupe right here and kind of focus that on the outer portion building a little bit of depth and dimension almost on this outer corner here creating an outer V I kind of switch back from like little circles and windshield wiper motions and then the last thing I'm gonna do just to bring a little bit more warmth is I'm gonna add a little bit of Merlot Monday which is this wine shade right here I'm gonna just add this softly with like the lightest touch ever in the crease and then I'm gonna blend it out all right at this point I'm gonna get my eyeshadow glue ready to go so I'm gonna put it on the back of the palette here so I can get nice and tacky for the lid, I'm going to use the shade Marshmallow, which is just a, um, a matte, almost like nudie skin tone shade right there. Taking a little bit of Deep Soul, which is a really dark brown, I'll show you here in a second, and just adding it again to this outer V, just to add a little bit more drama. that's gonna be it for me for eyeshadow again I'm not a huge eyeshadow person you can feel free to add like a glitter to the lid or a shimmer to the lid or anything like that I'm just not that person um, I will however add a wing liner and some lashes lashes are on this one looks a little weird guys I don't know what the deal is it's just kind of crimped in a weird way but I tried to fix it as best I could <laughs> honestly I feel like when you have events your makeup is like bound something's bound to go wrong so you just kind of roll with the punches i'm going to knock off all this powder so i can stop looking like some sort of character <laughs> okay i'm gonna add a little blush to my face i'll use mac gingerly oh by the way these lashes are the ones i've been using they are i got them on amazon um Alicia Lash in the style Dubai. So that's what they look like. Um, this one though, I was trying to save it. I don't know. I don't know if you can notice that much now that I have everything on. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to use MAC Gingerly Blush. It's a really pretty like neutral blush. Clearly I love it because I've hit pan on it. Alright, I'm going to contour my nose or set it with the powder because I did never did that. I'm going to use a small little brush like this and my bronzer. I'm going to add my nude eyeliner to the waterline. I believe this one's by Maybelline, pretty sure. I'm going to add some mascara to kind of just make sure that my eyelash and the falsy are one. I've been loving this combo lately. It's the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Need Me. Now these are the lip liners that are called Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On. Waterproof extreme color lip liner so this does stay on a long time definitely does stay on a long time um i'm gonna sharpen mine they remind me of the mac pro longwear lip pencils they have the same kind of feel to them I do still have powder on my nose but just all right so what i've been doing is basically outlining my lips and then filling in 
the corners with the lip liner. And the bottom. And then taking my nude liquid lipstick, which is stripped by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and just adding a small amount to the center of the lip like that, and then blending it in with your finger. Now feel free to add gloss. Um, if you are gonna wear gloss to a wedding or like a long event or something, you're gonna want to pack it with you. So I just stay matte because I think that it's just easier to manage, especially like for a long, a long time event. Um, I am gonna highlight my face. That's the last step of this. I'm gonna use Becca Opal. She looks like this. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush for my nose highlight. So this is the finished hair and makeup look. I am going to move on and show you my outfit ideas. You guys let me know which one is your favorite too. Like I want your opinion. Oh, let me put my earrings on first. David's Bridal does have literally everything you need when it comes to being a wedding guest for any special occasion. Um, I like stud earrings, so I picked out these little stud earrings. Um, they're just like really pretty cubic zirconia studs. So I'm going to put these in right now. Okay, those are beautiful. They just add the perfect little amount of sparkle to your ear. And yeah. All right, I'm gonna get dressed and show you guys my outfits. Okay, so I have the first dress on, but before I show you that, I wanna show you the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing with these dresses. David's Bridal does offer a really great selection of wide width shoes. I'm a size 11 in shoes. I have a weird issue with like my left ankle. I had surgery when I was younger. It's always kind of bigger than my right foot. Um, so my true shoe size is a 10, but I have to get an 11 to kind of give myself that extra room in the left foot ankle area. So this shoe is really cute. It's a perfect like heel. This heel height is perfect for walking. Um, it's nice and thick, so it's gonna support you. And then it has a really nice like cushiony bed here. And you just have a classic open-toed ankle strap heel. These are literally perfect for any, any dress Literally any dress, it's a great shoe to have in your wardrobe. They're super comfortable, so I'm gonna slip these on and show you my dress. So this first dress, I absolutely love this color. It is gorgeous. It's like this dusty pink blush lavender tone. It is super beautiful. Now the top does have long sleeves. Um, I will say I do wish that I sized up in this dress. I have every single dress that I'm gonna be showing you guys in a size 24. This dress is very straight up and down, and so it's really tight. Like, it's definitely tight on my stomach. Um, I would definitely wanna wear a more intense shapewear than the one I have on now. I kinda just have on, like, my everyday shapewear right now. Um, but I definitely think this dress would require, like, my squeam or something a little bit more girdle-like <laughs> if I wanted to wear this, or I could just size up because it is definitely tight on the area. Um, now that being said, the arms down here are really cute and loose. I actually really like the long sleeve aspect. I think it just gives it like a really cute kind of boho feel. Um, they are tight. If you can see, it is tight in my arms. Um, this seam right here is supposed to be underneath my armpit, but because it's too tight, it's not actually going where it's supposed to. So that being said, we are creating a little bit of issues across the bust because I can't get the arms where they're supposed to go. Let me back up. Okay, so this is the full length dress. As you can see, it is really form fitting around my stomach. It's a little bit too tight for my comfort. However, this slit, honey, I love this slit. The slit is doing everything. I think it's super cute. 
It is a floor length dress. It goes all the way down to the floor and I am 5'9". It does come with this cute little waist tie here. I overall think this is a really cute dress. Um, let me turn around. Kind of just looks the same in the back. Overall, I think this is a really cute dress. I just, if, a, if you are interested in this, I would definitely recommend sizing up one because, especially if you're more of an apple shape because it's definitely tighter around my stomach than I would like it. But this color is everything. I love these long sleeves. I love this faux wrap top. I love the slit. It's a really beautiful dress. I will have all the links to everything I'm showing you, accessories, shoes, and dresses in the description box down below in case you wanna shop them. And let's get on to the second option. Okay, now this is the second and last dress I have to show you. It is beautiful. I would have to say this one's probably my favorite. Um, I just love this color again. I really like this flutter sleeve. It's just really pretty and delicate. This dress is a true wrap dress. Let me back up. Um, this dress is a true wrap dress, so you can kind of control it. Also, it's really great at showing off your waist because again, you can kind of tighten it and show off your waistline. It's just beautiful. Um, when you walk, it does have that like slit to it. It's just, I just really like this dress. I think it's beautiful. Let me show you the back. This is what the back looks like. I don't know guys, this is just a really gorgeous dress. Again, I have this in a size 24. This color is just everything. The style I think is really pretty. I just feel pretty in this dress. It's like a very romantic, pretty dress. The fabric on both of these dresses are really pretty. <clears throat> it's like a light chiffon kind of fabric. It is lined here, if you can see that. Um, so obviously it's not gonna be see-through and it just feels really nice on the skin. It's not too heavy. You could easily wear this to a winter or summer wedding, I feel like, um, because of the color, it's so versatile. But I'm obsessed, this is gorgeous, I love. That's all I have to show you today, guys. Please let me know in the comment section down below which dress was your favorite. Again, I will have everything linked in my description box. I love you, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.